Are you looking for an easy way to report times tables progress to parents? Thinking about ways you can help students take ownership of their own times tables journey? Looking for a way to reward hardworking students who may not be the fastest in the class, but have made good progress? Then let me introduce you to Heat Maps. Heat Maps show you how quickly pupils are correctly responding to each fact. We take their last 10 correct answers and create an average. We then color code those times so you can see which tables are quickly recalled and which might need some work. The colors change from red to green as they get faster. Each student has their own heat map. You can access them all by heading to stats, selecting a class and then fluency. Scroll down until you see the students' names and then click on one. This will bring up the students' heat map. You may notice some purple boxes around some of the facts. These are the ones that our smart algorithm has picked for this student to practice in Garage and Arena. Students can access this same heat map by clicking on their avatar, then my stats, and then fluency. So that's how we find the heat maps, but how can we use them? As we all know, students who have ownership of their learning are more motivated, engaged and self-directed. So show your students how to find their own heat maps. Explain how they can identify which tables they're answering quickly and which ones to work on next. Ask them to check in once a week and share their successes and their next steps. If you have the stats bolt on, they'll also see a little slider. It allows your heat map to go back in time. Encourage your students to hit the play button and they can watch their times table knowledge develop before their eyes. It's a great confidence boost. It's easy to reward the fastest students in the class, but how can you shine a light on those who are working hard and making progress, but may not be at the top of the leaderboard? Well, that's where the Gone Green certificates come in. You can award it to students who've managed to turn their heat map entirely green. This is great to do in an assembly and will help students focus on their own progress. If you have the stats bolt on, you can download ready-made Gone Green certificates on the fluency page here, which will include the name of the pupil and the date they went green, meaning they've answered under four seconds for every fact. We recommend doing this once a week. To see who's gone green in the last seven days, click the last seven days button. If you don't have the stats bolt on, you can download a blank Gone Green certificate and enter the details once you see a pupil's gone green. Parents' evenings are a great opportunity to share your students' successes and what they need to work on next. One really effective way to do this for times tables is to print out an individual heat map for each student. This will quickly show parents and carers everything they need to know about their child's times tables recall. To download all pupil heat maps in just one click, you can select this icon above the class heat map on the fluency page. If you have the stats bolt on, you can even show parents how much progress their child has made. To do this, choose a past date, uh, perhaps the beginning of term, and then you can download historic heat maps. So that's a few suggested uses of heat maps. Give them a try and maybe come up with a few of your own.